Hi, it's Caitlin, and I am here today with some new polishes from Painted Polish. We're celebrating a belated Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. I'm super excited to be sharing the Food for Love collection because I love the Valentine's Day aesthetic. I love pinks, I love purples, I love reds, and there are plenty of those colors in this collection. And for anyone who is a green lover, you will probably fall in love with the Gilded Greens collection, which features a variety of green shades for St. Patrick's Day with beautiful gold flakes. All of the polishes that I'm sharing in this video will be available on the Painted Polish website starting on February 23rd at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will link everything you need to know down in the description and let's get into the nail polish. Let's begin with You're My Jam, which is an adorable name and all of the polishes in this collection have adorable names. And I also think the Food for Love collection name is really cute because I interpret it as a play on Fool for Love, but Food for Love. And as someone who loves food, this resonates deeply with me. So You're My Jam is described as a white curly base with red, purple, and pink metallic glitters. So this, as you can see, has such a smooth formula, even though it has a white base, the white base is not streaky at all. It's also really easy to get those glitters on your nail. There's no swirling around, no fishing. I didn't even put the bottle upside down. They just come out like that when you dip your brush into the bottle, which is what I'd expect from painted polish. The polishes are always so well made. And this one I'm showing in two coats, but you might want three if you have more of a visible nail line than I do. And I will recommend a glitter grabber and then a regular quick dry top coat over that. Even though I don't show it, I didn't want to bore you. But this does dry down with texture and it might be a bit difficult to remove because of those glitters. Don't Go Bake In My Heart is somewhat of a sibling to You're My Jam. So if you don't love glitters, then I think you'll be happy with Don't Go Bake In My, My Heart because this one is basically the similar concept with red and purple metallic flakes and a white curly base and hopefully we all know by now that metallic flakes are not like glitter they're very easy to remove and they won't require any scrubbing and they also dry down a lot more smoothly so you won't need two layers of top coat you'll be good with one thick layer of a glossy top coat or matte if you want to wear it matte so I built this one up in two coats. I thought it got perfectly opaque in two for me. I absolutely love the combination of red and purple generally, but specifically in this polish, it looks fantastic. So here it is in two coats plus top coat. It's just so sweet. Moving along, we have Butter Me Up, and this one features crushed gold metallic flakes in a bubblegum pink curly base. So I love bubblegum pink anything. I also just love bubblegum, even though I almost never chew it, but I love the taste of it. And I also love the color of it. So I was super excited to see this polish in the collection, and I really love the way the gold flakes complement the base color. It's just really elegant and adorable. So I will recommend two or three coats for this one. I left it at two, but I think you might want three if you have a stronger nail line than I do. And because these are gold flakes, it's not going to be difficult to remove. It also won't require more than one layer of top coat to get it smooth. I am using the Cuticula Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat in this video, which is hands down my favorite top coat um, ever unless another one comes along, so I love using it. And here it is in two coats plus top coat, and you can just see how cute it is. Next up is Relation Chip Goals, which is just an adorable name and an adorable polish. This one features black flakes in a punch pink curly base. So this one is a really unique shade of pink. I don't have anything like it in my collection and I was surprised by how much I liked it on my hands. I'm very picky when it comes to colors against my 
skin tone so I thought that this one looked really nice and of course I'm a big fan of black flakes and the ones in here are really well distributed. They do have a bit of texture as you might notice however I found that one layer of Cuticula Limitless took care of the texture and they aren't difficult to remove even if they do give a bit of texture it's not like a glitter it will come off very easily. So here it is in two coats plus top coat and I would say it's fully opaque in two. Here we have I Loaf You and this one is just an absolutely beautiful finish. It features bright pink holographic micro glitters as well as crushed gold metallic flakes in a hot coral jelly base. So I think this is a really unique finish and I think it might be somewhat new from Painted Polish. I don't recall seeing it in the past. This is just a really squishy base, as you will see once I build it up and apply top coat. There are micro glitters in here, which means it will dry down textured, and I will recommend a glitter grabber plus a quick dry top coat over that just to get a smooth if possible finish. I really, really like to have a very smooth and glossy finish whenever I have glitters on my nails. I just don't like when there's any texture. So glitter grabber and something like limitless top coat over top will take care of texture and as you can hopefully already see this is fantastically sparkly and rainbowy i just absolutely love how this looks and you know i love sheer jelly bases so i love this one moving along we have sucker for you and this one features red and pink holographic glitters and purple metallic glitters as well as micro holographic flakies in a clear base. Easy for me to say. So this one, I, I'm just such a sucker for, sucker for you, I'm a sucker for this polish. I'm a sucker for full coverage glitters, and I'm so happy to see this polish from Painted Polish. I wish more makers would be creating Glitter polishes, it's hard to do them well, but when they're done well, I think they're just absolutely perfect. I know removing glitter can be a bit of a pain, but to me, there's nothing like holographic glitter nail polishes when they're done well. And now with glitter grabber, top coats, and quick dry glossy top coats, you can have a smooth finish. And of course, you can always use a peel off base coat if you want. I find that they just pop off within a few hours so it's not worth it for me but they do work for some people anyway this one i liked how it built up in two coats you could do three you could also probably use this as a topper but i think it's so so sparkly so rainbowy so fun so valentine's -y in just two coats on its own and here we have brie mine which is a really really beautiful polish. It features a champagne mix of gold and silver reflective glitters, pink galaxy holographic glitters, and micro holographic flakies in a magenta crelly base. This polish is really unique because I don't think I've seen painted polish do a sort of crelly creamy base with those hollow glitters and reflective glitters, and I think this one just came out perfectly. I also don't know if I would call this a magenta, but my sense of colors is sometimes off to me. It's kind of like a hot Barbie pink, not neon, but it's making me think of Barbie and I absolutely love that. So as you can see, this does dry down with texture. Of course, again, I will recommend a glitter grabber like Quenched from Cuticula or glitter grabber from Glisten and Glow and then apply a quick dry top coat like Uticula Limitless and you'll get a really glossy, smooth finish. And as you can see here, this one is just packed with sparkle. Here we have Love You Very Much and this is the last one in the Food for Love collection. And this one features that same mix of champagne glitter, gold and silver reflective glitters, pink galaxy holographic glitters and micro holographic flakies in a hot pink jelly base. This one is very squishy and super fun because it has a jelly base. You can see the glitters a bit better than you could in Brie Mine. 
So if you're really looking for that blingy in your face sparkle, then I would recommend this one. It is a different shade of pink compared to Brie Mine. It's much brighter. I wouldn't say it's neon pink. It's just a bright pink. It's very accurate to what I'm showing you here in the video. It is kind of berry more than a hot pink, I would say, leaning towards red. Do with that information what you will, but it's probably most useful to just look at it on the screen because that's how the color looked to me, to my eye. And as you can see in two coats plus top coat, it's super sparkly and rainbowy. Let's move into the Gilded Greens collection. First up, we have Gilded Gecko, which features crushed gold metallic flakies in a pear green crelly base. And this is just such a beautiful shade of green. It's perfect for spring. It's very bright. It's very happy. And the crushed gold flakes work really well. Gold and green always look really nice. And I just think this is a really perfect combination. This green is very bright, as you can see from the video. And you can also see that it builds up really nicely in two coats. I don't think many people would need more than two coats and because this has those crushed gold flakes some of the gold flakes do dry with a bit of texture but i find that a good glossy quick dry top coat takes care of any texture it won't be difficult to remove and um yeah, this would also look really good matte even though i didn't show it matte but it would here it is in two coats plus top coat Next up, we have Gilded Clover, which is screaming St. Patrick's Day to me. This one features the same crushed gold metallic flakes in a shamrock curly base. This one, again, has a fantastic formula. I found that the gold flakes showed up a little bit more in Gilded Clover compared to Gilded Gecko. It might just be because the base was a little more sheer, but this does build up in my opinion, to full opacity in two coats. I really don't think anyone would need more than two unless you paint in extremely thin coats. This just has a, such a nice formula. So same advice as Gilded Gecko. You want a good, quick dry, glossy top coat to smooth everything out, and it won't be difficult to remove either. So here it is. As I'm applying the top coat just to gloss everything out and I just love the green and the gold in this one in particular. Here we have Gilded Gherkin which is really fun because who doesn't love pickles? This one features crushed gold metallic flakies in a pickle green curly base. So this one almost starts off a bit brown and it definitely is a brown leaning green so this is quite color accurate and I just think this is so beautiful I don't have too many polishes that are this color and I really do like the crushed gold flakes and I think it complements this polish perfectly so once this builds up on the second coat you can get more of the green tone from it but as I said it definitely has that murky brownie green effect to it overall and the crushed flakes are very visible in this one once again and I will recommend a really nice thick quick drying top coat and here it is I think this one's so much cute and I want pickles now last but not least we have gilded pines and this one again has the crushed gold metallic flakes and it's in a pine green crelly base. So this is definitely a bluer toned green, I would say. It goes on really beautifully and those gold flakes are very plentiful in this one. Once again, I will, I think with the darker ones, I would recommend capping your tips just because I found it just sort of dried back a bit. But once the second coat went on, I didn't have any issues with shrinkage or tip wear or anything like that it's just 
something I noticed when I was applying the polish. So this one looks beautiful. I think it's a really elegant combination with the pine green and the gold flakes. It just works beautifully. And I really also don't have many greens in this color in my collection, so I'm happy to add this one. And it makes me think of a forest, which is always a good thing. My top pick from the Gilded Greens collection is going to be Gilded Gherkin. I just love that shade of green. It's super unique, and I think that the gold flakes work particularly well with that color. And from the Food for Love collection, I fell in love with Sucker for You. I love glitter polishes, and I wish there would be more coming out from indie makers. So anytime I see one, I'm super happy about it. I love that it's full coverage and the colors in there are absolutely beautiful. So let me know in the comments if you like any of the polishes that I shared today. Let me know if you're planning on picking anything up and I hope you have a great day wherever you are and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!